our facility treats all the sanitary sewage and stormwater. In other words, all the water that leaves your home comes to us, as well as during a rain events, storm runoff. Anything that leaves your home, whether it goes down the sink or out of your bathroom, comes to us. And what we do is take it in that state, clean it to meet the water quality standards as set by EPA and Indiana Department of Environmental Management to meet the water quality standards and to discharge it to our receiving stream, which is the White River. When the wastewater enters our plant, it goes through three main processes, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary is mostly physical screening, straining, and settling of foreign material and heavier inorganic solids as well as the heavier organic solids. Secondary treatment is mostly a biological process where microorganisms stabilize the bacteria that's left in the wastewater as well as some final settling. And tertiary is the final step before discharge and that entails filtration through a monomedia filter, disinfection, and then finally discharge to the White River. We have done two projects since 2000, a phase one and a phase two, to replace equipment, some of which has been running since 1941. The objective of these projects is to upgrade equipment, increase our inflow to the plant, make treatment more efficient in both dry and wet weather, and finally, to continue to meet and exceed water quality standards that will benefit this community now and into the future. What these projects have done is not only upgrade the equipment to make the process more economically efficient and to increase our inflow and to make the treatment of the wastewater much easier to deal with during higher flows, it'll also take this plant for the next 20 years into the steps that we need to maintain our high water quality standards.